Hi there, now we're going to do lesson 18. I am not alone in experiencing the effects of my seeing. Paragraph one. The idea for today is another step in learning that the thoughts which give rise to what you see are never neutral or unimportant. It also emphasizes the idea that minds are joined, which will be given increasing stress later on. So we're going to we're going to see how minds are joined, but for now, know that you're not alone in experiencing the effects of your thoughts. So if you are thinking I can't stand that person, that person is feeling the effects of your thoughts. You may not be saying that to them, but they can feel it. All of us have that sensation when when we feel uncomfortable around somebody. Well, they've got some thoughts that are going on and they're not alone in experiencing the effects of their thoughts because you're feeling them too. So when you think that you've got these secrets going on in your head that nobody knows about them, well, if they have a positive charge or a negative charge, if, you, if they move um, from one side to the other, People can feel it. They can feel when you're thinking nice things about them and they can feel when you're thinking not so nice things about them as well. Paragraph number two, today's idea does not refer to what you see as much as to how you see it. Therefore, the exercises for today emphasize this aspect of your perception. The three or four practice periods which are recommended should be done as follows. Look about you, selecting subjects for the application of the idea for today as randomly as possible and keeping your eyes on each one long enough to say, I am not alone in experiencing the effects of how I see. I am not alone in experiencing the effects of how I see that lamp. I am not alone in experiencing the effects of how I see that tree. I am not alone in experiencing the effects of how I see that car out the window. I am not alone in experiencing how I see um, that plant. So we are having an effect. It is affecting the entire environment. Why? Because we are one energy. So whether it's a tree or the lamp or the car or the plant, all of it is experiencing the vibration of what I am emitting. So my thoughts have power and they are sending signals, letting everything know what I am feeling, experiencing, thinking about it. As we become more clear about our spiritual nature, as we become comfortable with what before were esoteric teachings, and we begin to really understand the metaphysics of what's going on, we will begin to understand that everything is energy, which means everything is physics. What I'm thinking over here, I am emitting as a signal to over there. We don't think about it that way as, as humans because, well, we don't believe in ESP and nobody can read my mind. We're trying to hold on to secrets and feel like we're separate from everybody else. But guess what? We've never been separate from everybody else. Other people know what we've got going on. Maybe not totally and completely clearly, but there's always a sensation. There's a feeling that you know what's going on um, in terms of another person. Are they, are they really sending you loving vibes or are they sending you daggers? Um, let's go to sentence number three. So conclude each practice period by repeating the more general statement. I am not alone in experiencing the effects of my seeing. This is an important process because it is training your mind to realize that as you move down the spiritual path, at the end of the day, we're going to discover that we all have the same fears. We all have the same lusts. We all have the same uh, temptations. We all have the same uh, joyful thoughts. We all have the same desires. And when we begin to realize that we all are pretty much the same, then we're going to stop pretending that we have different thoughts that nobody can understand. We will become more comfortable with becoming transparent and speaking truth instead of pretending that you don't know what I'm, what I'm thinking about you, but in reality, we're sensing it. So sentence number five, a minute or so or even less will be sufficient for each practice period. 
So lesson 18 is a short lesson, but it is a powerful lesson to get comfortable with that you are not alone in experiencing the effects of your seeing. So what you think you are judging, those, those, that meaning you're assigning to things, you are not alone in experiencing the vibration that they're emitting into into the, the you know the cosmos um we are not alone we are connected we are one energy thanks a bunch and i'll see you in the next lesson